the infamous uh, the land diner. Oh, the berry diner. They have a huge menu, though. Uh, this is where they will refuse uh, to wait on a Joe Biden voter. It's made national news. So it's only two miles from where we wave flags. So we decided to cut out a little early and come out here and uh, patronize this place, this patriotic establishment. Hey, it's the, the Patriots. Patriot yeah. Standing room only at this I place, I guess. Huh? Here, you know? Yeah, we don't care. Bottleneck. Or Dave, our Vietnam vet, he is a patriot. We love this man and thank him for fighting for our country. And he's still fighting for our country. Still is, yeah. There's Larry. We're going to eat some patriot food. Oh, yeah, here's the sign. I love it, man. If you voted for and continue to support and stand behind the worthless, inept, and corrupt administration currently inhabiting the White House that is complicit in the deaths of our servicemen and women in Afghanistan, please take your business elsewhere. God bless America and God bless our soldiers. <laughs> The DeBerry Diner is slammed. So they apparently they ran out of food yesterday. And today. And today. They had to temporarily close down today and yesterday because they ran out of food and had to go get more food. So there's an endless supply of patriots coming here to eat. Hey, if you voted if you voted for Joe Biden, you're not welcome in this restaurant. <laughs> If you even mention this restaurant to a Democrat, their head explodes. <laughs> they hate this place. Yeah, this restaurant is making uh, money hand over fist right now. People are coming from all over the state. All over the country, too, I'll bet. To show support for this place. Hopefully other businesses follow suit and refuse uh, to serve Joe Biden voters. You know, because the mess that we're in, it's their fault. Uh, it's get woke, go broke, and if you get unwoke, you get rich. Like the DeBerry Diner. <laughs> Cuban dude. The Cuban cowboy. Yeah, last time we saw this man, he was riding a horse. Up there in Illinois City. That was a Everybody loves the uh, sign in the window. <laughs> so if you are in the Central Florida area, you want to come to the DeBerry Diner in DeBerry, Florida, right off 1792 over here. Be prepared to wait in line behind a bunch of patriots. Look at this place. Patriot stuff everywhere. Patriots everywhere. Uh, hey man, how's it going? Hi. How's the food? Good? Here we are, people. We're, we're in the most patriotic diner in Central Florida right now. Yeah, yeah, baby. The Berry Diner? Get over here and eat some food, damn it. <laughs> See? Guys can think of two things at once. Trivia? Uh, your, your establishment has become like famous now. I know, I know. So, you, is, is, how you doing? Yeah. My establishment is famous right now. My wife did the whole thing. So, what, what, what was in here? What? It's right in here. Oh, all right. Well, so, it's all about my wife. She decided she was going to make the sign. She said, I'll put the sign up. I said, The TV's going to show up. Yeah. She goes, No, it's not going to show up. We're not going to get any coverage. Oh, yeah, you will. I go, Maybe one or two TV stations is going to come out. Yeah. And she said, nah. And of course, now today I heard that. Well, I saw it. We're in China. China actually printed an article you're not, in Russia. You're not, yeah, just, not just national news, now you're world news. World news, yeah. and the Taliban stopped everything they're doing just to look at the, the, the thing on Newsmax. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, the, get I, so I jumped on the Fox 35, the local news. Yeah, they uh, started the whole thing. Well, okay, they started the whole thing. Well, they, they made a post, and I jumped on there today, and that. That feed is filled with all kinds of hateful comments from all these Democrats saying that you're going to go out of business. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. You can take a video of everybody here and tell me how we're going to go yeah. out of business. So, are the rumors true that yesterday you were so busy you ran out of food? No, that was Wednesday. We ran out of food. We had to close Thursday because we couldn't get any food in. Wow. Yeah, today we ran out of food. I had to go shopping at a supermarket. Yeah. Something tells me you're going to be busy for a long time. I think so. So, yeah. God bless you. Show thank you. Thank you. Get over to the Deland Diner where they have the most patriotic food you've ever tasted. And, uh, and it's good. And it's good. Real good. And come out and wave flags with us. And uh, watch Mike Nevison on YouTube. Follow that dude. Vote for Jeremy Leggett. And uh, who else? Luis Miguel. He's running against Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio is for red flag laws and making all these illegals legal. Vote for Willie Montague. I'm serious. Come on, man. And Jeremy Lincoln. And Jeremy Lincoln. Uh, supporting the troops. And, uh... Yay! Whatever we say. I can't even tell you. The first day we got to... This restaurant is filled with patriots. Everywhere you look, look. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Democrats think this place will go out of business. There's still people waiting outside to get in here. There's not an empty seat in this place. <laughs> uh, they run out of food every day because they're, so, they're serving so much of it. The Berry Diner, baby. Get over here and try the food. I haven't even tried the food yet, and I'm going to give this place five stars. It's delicious. It has everything mm. on it. This is the most patriotic salad I've ever eaten. Mm. You can taste the patriotism in the salad, Marine. You got to try it. Mm. That's what kids do. They do um, Instagram food. There's not much going on here. Biden sucks. <laughs> hey, you know what Democrats call this place? Super spreader event. <laughs> Is that the surfing bird? Good thing Pfizer has come out with a pill that uh, prevents COVID. You take it twice a week. It's called hydroxychloroquine. <laughs> and sink. Look at the patriotic cheese melting out of that tuna sandwich. And freedom fries. Freedom fries, baby. Only here at the, the Berry Diner, folks. Yum. Glad, God bless America pickles, too. Check it out. Yum. Alright, I got my food. Look at this. Roast beef, mashed taters, and uh, onion rings. Yeah. So you're, you're Angie, the, the owner? I talked to your husband, but so what possessed you to put the uh, sign out there on the door? I was pissed off. Yeah. Really pissed off. And everybody in this uh, restaurant, in your restaurant, were pissed off too. Uh, more people need yeah. to be pissed you, off. You hit a nerve because you said exactly what people were thinking. Actually, I said it before I took the F words out. Oh, you had F words out oh. there. I took those out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, uh, you uh, so I'm reading all the comments on uh, social media oh. when like, uh, um, like Fox 35 did a story. All these Democrats are triggered. They say you're going to go out of business. Yeah, really? <laughs> hey, if I do, I need a vacation anyway. Yeah. I'm good. You're going to be busy for years to come. <laughs> you leave that sign out there. God will. That sign's not going anywhere. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. What? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? She's been to our flag. Waves. <laughs> what a patriot. So here. How was the food? Bottleneck? Oh man, was that good. Yeah. And it was very interesting. Yeah. Hey, if that's not a five-star restaurant, I don't know what is. <laughs> five star for a couple reasons. Great food. Yeah. Um good, good service. Yeah. And very reasonable. Yeah. And this sign. And uh screw Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden voters, that is. Jerks. Screw <laughs> Joe Biden. Oh, that's right. We're going into business. Yeah. yeah, the owner of this restaurant said that people are coming from all over the state. And uh, 
people are popping in from all over the country. She said she's had a few people fly in just to eat here. <laughs> I love it. The Berry Diner, y'all. <laughs> Get unwoke and uh, make a lot of money. <laughs>